Will, you came on to start the second half. Talk about how the game came to you. Yeah, um, you know, I thought I came into the game and did did a pretty good job of being an outlet and dropping in. And, you know, it's tough when you're down a man um, on the road trying to chase the game. But I thought we we defended pretty well. We had a, a letdown where we should make a tackle. But, you know, you, you learn from it and you move on. Unfortunately, this game was a lot like the Portland match, red card in the first half. But didn't you feel in a sense that there were chances, especially with Kovar's mm -hmm. after Kovar's goal with the with set pieces? Yeah, exactly. It's going to be nice to uh, get back on the field and play 11 v 11 because the last two weeks for a half has been um, 11 v 10. But um, Kovar's free kick was great. And, you know, you can kind of feel it that we were kind of knocking on the door, even though we were down a man because we were defending, defending, kind of hitting him on the counter a little bit. It just uh, wasn't meant to be. You went shoulder to shoulder with Sarkoti, dropped that ball to ship. Did you yeah. think that might have been the moment? Yeah, you know, um, it looked good from my angle, and Harry had an angle. The goalie said it started inside, and it just curled outside. But, um, you know, me and Kofi roomed together our rookie year, so I had to give him some trouble for that. Uh, you were a third party in Irvin Parr and Chris Wondolowski's night out. Yeah. They, they seemed to be going at it every set piece. Yeah, I was just listening. It was kind of fun to listen to it and not be involved in it for once. So, um, so you know, it, it, it was pretty funny. Um, but they were going at it and just good competitors. You see that this is a good competition for the young guys to learn at a bigger stage. I mean, San Jose had a lot of number ones. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's a good experience for a lot of the guys, you know. Big Sam Rogers, 18-year-old um, center back, comes in and plays against some great guys. So, you know, some of these guys are going to definitely gain a lot of experience from it. And, you know, hopefully it's going to help them develop as players. You look at yourself as kind of a mentor, especially in a game like this. we got so many guys who are younger than you. You can kind of show them the way because you've been around the league a lot and yeah. cup games in the league as well. I think this is the first trip I've made where I've been one of the oldest guys. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, but no, it was fun. Um, you know, I think I'm kind of growing into that, you know, veteran guy. Um, but that's what the Open Cup's for, get guys some experience. And you want to move. Obviously, you take every game serious and move, and move on. It just wasn't meant for us tonight. What about going in terms of the league now? This been about a year since Brian to go from Ziggy, and you yeah. came in kind of in the middle of the transition. Is this the time of the year where this is where the team caught hot last year? Is this the team the feeling has now that this is where you're going to start to go? Yeah, exactly. I think we built off of a good result in Portland on Sunday, being down a man again for for um, for a half and being able to get the equalizer. So hopefully we can build off that going into the second half of the season. And there's still a lot of points on the table, and the, the West is so is so close that it just takes a little streak to get going. And I think we're more than capable capable of doing that. And you have a little experience in playoff runs with Houston yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A few years when, with Dominic when he was in in Houston. Um, you know, the second half of the season, it's all right. Time to get those stupid mistakes out of the way and get all the points. Yeah.